Hello guys, welcome back to another video and this one is quite special because uh, I've put in a lot of time into grinding uh, the revenants and a lot happened in this one video so hopefully you guys can catch most of it if possible but anyways let's uh, get right on with this video so our purpose at revenants is to get all the revenant weapons and uh, it would be nice to get the obvious as well with four crystals and last time I showed you guys the rev grind I got a crossbow which is basically like the best thing you could get at least to start off the grind because it'll make the rest of the grind easier and also the crossbow is pretty good outside of the wilderness as well I ended up testing it at a few places uh, mainly abyssal sire and the inferno oh yeah I know who would have guessed the inferno right so I'll be showing you some cool uses with the crossbow outside of the wilderness and of course the revenant progress. Enjoy. Alright, I'm gonna bring uh, the crossbow to this Zug task because I, I do want to check out how nice it would be to be able to tag off like nibblers or healers or something from a far distance. So crossbow, despite being known mainly as a weapon that is grossly disgusting in the wilderness because of all the modifiers against wildy mobs it actually has some really good default things about it such as is really fast speed it is msb speed which is a bit faster than a whip and it also has a stupid range it is almost as far range as a crystal bow it is a eight distance which is two more distance than uh, magic short bow and crossbow and only one less than a crystal bow so because of its fast attack and long range it has some really cool applications that can go just about anywhere even outside the wilderness so the crossbow's amazing range and pretty decent damage around 30s is really nice for lowering and finishing off uh, little mobs in the inferno like the bats the nibblers and stuff like that from a safe distance Nice, man. That's pretty, uh, pretty cool being able to hit these guys from this far away. I hate getting dragged by the uh, blowpipe sometimes. When the bat's just a little bit too far, you get dragged. But at least if I attack something like this, if I attack this ranger, I can hit it. That was nice. See, does this work? Oh, this works. Yeah, buddy. Nani? So it's a lot quicker to lure the healers with the crossbow since it's a lot faster than the Tebow. Oh, nice. That's like the good part about the cross. <laughs> uh, it comes in handy for that. My favorite part about crossbow is definitely tagging the healers at Zuck because I'm able to actually tag them so quickly that they just don't heal the boss that much. I can't really do that with like Tebow because it's too slow or like Blowpipe because the range is too short and I get dragged out the shield. So yeah, it's super nice for that. Hey, there we go. Oh, new PB? Nice. I was very sloppy this this kill, but uh... Okay, let's do this. Number, uh, this is the 20th gamble, because 21 KC, I believe, right? Alright, here we go, here we go. Please. Denied. So I already told you guys that the crossbow hits pretty decent and has a long range and it's quick. It's actually super applicable at Sire because finishing off the vents require a good combination of speed, distance, and DPS. And the crossbow has all of that. So it can definitely compete probably with a crystal bow. So that's where we're going to find out how much difference is it against something like a crystal bow, which is really perfect for tagging the respiratory system. We'll show you the distance. The crystal bow, I can shoot it from here. And this is the distance of cross, so I got to move quite a bit. Of distance all right this is the distance of the crystal bow this is nasty crystal bow distance is nasty but crossbow you got to go all the way over here so that's that's a bit hard and the distance of crystal bow is here but if I use crossbow it's all the way over here so the crystal bow hits a little harder has a longer range but it is slower whereas the crossbow is faster slightly less max hit and slightly shorter range Okay, it's really fast. It, it definitely is very fast, but so much drag though. So much drag. Holy shit. Man, crossbow is really fast. Damn, I, I, I just did all four respiratory systems in one go. Holy shit. 
That was, uh, that was incredible. So I did about 30 attempts with both the crossbow and the crystal bow. And they were actually about the same, really neck to neck for the most part. So I was able to clear all four respiratory systems in one go with both weapons. And the average respiratories that I cleared with both of them were about two and a half. The crystal bow though is definitely a bit cheaper though. But the cross is definitely a good option guys, for sure. All right, Crystal Bow cleared uh, the respiratory again, all, all four in one go. So in the previous rev video, I talk a lot more about like how revs work, you know, drop tables and like strategies to use against them. So in this video, I'm not going to be covering any of that stuff, just going to be showing you guys straight progress. So if you guys want to learn more about that stuff, I'll put a link on the top to the previous rev video detailing that stuff. Oh my god, Effigy! Yay, first unique drop from a uh, dragon, yeah, finally. Yep, how many dragons did it take for uh, our first drop? 717, god damn. Oh, I got the first, I finally got a crystal, oh my god. <laughs> finally, like yeah, 11,000 something kills, oh my god. Yeah, first one. <laughs> Uh, let's go. <laughs> oh, I got a relic. Yes. So let's go. Oh, I got another relic. Oh my god. Yo, what the f? Holy shit. This this is the best night for uh, money making for me. My god. Oh my god. Relic. Holy shit, that's insane. I can't believe I've gotten three relics in like two days. What the heck? Magic scene to statue it. Another one. Another one. Oh my god, I hit a 68 on the night. Oh, effigy! Oh my god, let's freaking go. <gasps> oh my god, another, I got another crossbow. Oh my goodness, I got another crossbow. Yeah! <laughs> oh, what the heck? The uh, the first, like, weapon thing from, uh, what do you call it? The dragon. Holy shit. Well, I mean, that's, that's kind of nice, you know? If I lose one, hope I really don't lose one, but if I do... Bro, I got this unsculled. I'm just looking back at my video. I got this shit unsculled. Like, I literally lost the skull like 30 seconds prior. <laughs> what the heck? That's crazy. I, I need to know what the chances of that is. Hold on real quick. Let me see. Unsculled, eh? Let's see. Unsculled from dragon is 1 in 40,000. <laughs> what? What the hell, bro? That's sad. that's hilarious, dude. Oh, Vendelian. Oh no, I got an MF Avarice. Oh no, it's the bad drop, dude. That's what it is. Let me check my collection log. 14.6k. Oh, man, I, I'm getting a lot of doubles. I need some new singles, man. But yeah, here we go. Wow, second Avarice. GG. So recording for Revenants has been hella hectic. As you can see in the collection log earlier, I have two ancient crystals. And you think I would have recorded it, but uh, for some reason it's not here. I, I don't know where the hell it is. I guess I thought I recorded it, but I in reality did not. Yeah, feels bad, man. Oh no, I got the scepter. Oh, dude, are you joking? Oh no. I mean... Sure, I guess it's a unique item. 
it's not the worst thing ever, you know, but damn, I was really, really hoping to get the maze first, man. I ain't gonna lie. It's a unique item, so, you know, success, boys. Oh, Ancient Crystal. Yes. Yes, the third one. Holy balls. Oh, my goodness. Let's freaking go, man. There's one more to go. We can actually get this obelisk. Pretty solid night, man. Pretty solid night. Alright, let me check uh, the rev log here. I got a lot of kills today for sure. We did like 4 or 5 hours. 15.7k. Here's what it's looking like now. Uh, we got Scepter today and, and Ancient Crystal today. That's pretty much probably going to be the wrap up today. But yeah, our KC is going up there, man. We're going to be at 20k pretty soon. Probably. Oh! Shit. Oh, scared me. I got an effigy. <laughs> oh, I got it! I just got the fourth inch crystal. Holy shit! Woohoo, baby! I know, damn. That's crazy. We got it! The finale, bro. Holy shit. Yo, we are done with the obelisk, my guy. Oh my god, I actually got a relic unsculled. Excuse me. I'm trying to I'm trying to get like the, the really bad one, you know, that's why I'm sculled. Holy crap. Okay, well, that's that's nice. No complaints here. It is finally time to build ourselves the obelisk in the house. It's going to be quite useful, man. I do track the wilderness a ton, whether it's for EQ keys or for clue scrolls. So being able to use the obelisk directly at my house instead of like going to corp or whatever is going to be awesome. So yeah, let's go ahead and build it. Four ancient crystals. We got it. Four marble blocks. We got it. And yeah, man, let's do it. Let's freaking do it, guys. Man, this is going to take a little bit to get used to. That's for sure. But anytime we're going over to the wilderness. We are absolutely going to be having a, a much easier time, you know, going forward. So we're going to be using this bad boy a lot, a lot. All right, guys, I am going to call it quits at revs. I'm pretty happy with the results. We got 20,882 kills. And yeah, we got pretty much all the uh, essential stuff that you could you could want. Uh, four crystals. Perfect. You know, I can build the obelisk. We got all the rev weapons, which is great. So if we do any uh, future, you know, PVM in the wilderness, uh, like the bosses, stuff like that. Yes, checked. I, I have it ready. I also should have a lot of uh, ether as well. So, yep, we got a lot of. Uh, th this is not correct. I have way more than this. Uh, let me let me show you. I should have like uh, right here 1500 right now. So that's a lot of charges. I'll try to be careful with it, I guess. But yeah, that's uh, that's the results here. We got a lot of um, relics out of this. Uh, FGs, medallions, statues. You know, we made a lot of money out of this. Alright, so let me show you the overall loot from everything. Because uh, Runelite luckily tracks all the stuff. So, on the right you see the Rev Knights. I killed this the most. And uh, we made 200 mil total. Uh, big uniques were the Vigorous Chain Mace and an Ancient Crystal. And of course, a lot of GP from, from that mob. And Revenant Org at 113 mil, I killed 3,000 of them. Uh, uniques, actually nothing. Wow, or Org didn't really carry me on that. Uh, Demon gave us our first Avarice and also two Ancient Crystals. Very nice, 57 mil. Hierophine carried with uh, another Ancient Crystal and we made 40 mil off of that. Uh, Revenant Hellhounds, 100 mil. First crossbow from the uh, Hellhound, so that was awesome. And Dragon gave us the Unskull Cross, which was like a 1 in 30, 40,000. I don't remember. It's something stupid. Stupid rare. And yes, another Avarice. Also 78 mil. And Cyclops gave us a Thamron Scepter. And we made 35 mil off of them. Uh, Dark Beast, uh, 47 mil. That means 680. All right, so we made a, around 600 to 700 mil uh, overall value, but it took me a long time to kill so many of these. Uh, 20,882. 
Um, I spent approximately almost one and a half months just uh, doing revs like several hours a day. A lot of dying, you know, a lot of fighting and stuff. L let me let me show you how many times I've died. Uh, I had to pay so much attention to try not to die. So I'm gonna go to bosses and we're gonna go to Vorkath. So whenever I did revs, I would bring an Avas assembler because look, I have so many forecast heads. So that means I have 86 assemblers in my bank. There should be 86, but no, I've died a lot of times, so I've lost a lot of them. Every time I die in the wilderness, guarantee assembler loss. Now let's go to the bank and show you guys how many uh, assemblers I, I have now. So I have 64. I have 65 actually, because one is the Max Cave version. So that means 65, right? And the difference was 86, 65. That means I've died 21 times in this one and a half month period of grinding revs. So yeah, man, I, I came very close to dying a lot more than that. Uh, let me tell you. Oh yeah, one last thing about revs uh, is that I think all these magic seeds are from them. Because I could tell since I have all my normal magic seats in the Seafold, but yeah, I had all of this in my actual bank. So yeah, 179 from all those revs. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely consider giving it a like. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a French chat, so if you guys need a place to hang out, definitely consider joining ours at Mr. Iron Bar. And also, consider subscribing, that way you won't miss on future videos. If you do have Amazon Prime, you can actually support my work financially for free by going on my Twitch channel and subscribing using Twitch Prime. Anyways, I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care and bye-bye.